Hi, my name is Chris and I'm one of the TSMs here with Bushel Plus based in Brandon, Manitoba. So here what we're going to go through a few minutes of what our 40 inch drop pan systems look like, uh, how they function and what, our, what the value of having one of these systems are. So quickly, I'll just kind of walk through this real quick. We've got our 40 inch pan, our carrier with a 40 inch wide pan. Um, this is just a demo unit where we actually have this kind of attached on here, kind of like it would be on the back of a combine. In our systems, it comes with the, the carrier, the 40 inch wide pan. On top here, you can see the 40 inch narrow pan. Uh, it comes with the scale, remote, and our air separator. With this system, it also gives access to what our app is. And the, some of those functions on the app is what it does all the calculations for our drop pan. Uh, it also allows uh, us the function to be able to drop the pan from the carrier. Um, so part of what our system has here is this is, this is going to be attached to your combine, whether it's on a back axle, whether it's on a feeder house, header, wherever you, we have to mount them to be able to drop them to be able to do our tests with. So quickly a little bit about our carrier. Uh, what our product sets us apart from some of the other manufacturers out there. Um, our carrier is a sealed unit. Um, our pan actually fits up underneath here so that it's protected before you actually drop your pan so that you don't get any uh, leakage out of your combine into your pan to distort your uh, sample. So on our carrier we have two 220 pound magnets that are located on the top of here uh, on top of the carrier that allows our carriers to be uh, mounted either onto a back axle, feeder house, header of a combine when we go to do our grain loss. So on our, on these magnets that are, that are here, um, these are two 220 pound magnets. Uh, these magnets are always magnetized. They do not require power to, to function. The two magnets that are located in here that hold the pan in place, they're an electromagnet. So what happens in this situation is um, our magnets do not require power to um, hold the pan in place. We actually send an electric current to the magnets for a split second, allowing that magnet to drop the pan. And that way it ensures that the battery life of our battery in here is not compromised. In our systems like this, we have, um, a, there's an LED readout on the top of the pan located right on this side right over in there underneath the magnet there's an on off toggle switch that led screen basically tells you what your uh, current battery voltage is at um, you can see from here also there is a black antenna and a white antenna underneath here so it also it sends out a, a basically what a wi a wi-fi signal so that you can connect to a tablet or you can connect to your remote Having that dual function allows different versatility, whether you have a comp combine operator that has a tablet or a smartphone and your grain cart operator or trucker has the remote, whichever functions when you'll be able to want to drop, drop your pan and to be able to do your tests with it. So we went through this a minute ago. We got the tablet connected to the Wi-Fi router through the Wi-Fi signal that it sends out. So quick, quick one on this, this is the remote. Um, basically, this is connected to the pan. So when I want to drop my pan, I push this red button, shows red, and then I take off and it drops. It comes back and flashes another red light on the remote to let you know that that signal was actually received by our pan. And then it comes back to the remote with that second flash to let you know that the pan actually dropped. Function in that just so that we know that that pan actually was released by the carrier. So I'll put that pan back in there quickly. And just on this side over here, I've got the tablet right here. And I'll just quickly show you that on the tablet so we've got this device connected to it right now and it's on standby right now i just grab this thing and slide it across <laughs> drops it and there again it comes back signal confirmed received so that tells us that it knows that that pan's dropped gives you that information in the operator of this of the tablet or the remote so from there as you're combining down the field um, you're going to drop this pan you're going to be able to as you're combining you're going to get your sample into here right so from here you're going to take this sample and this is where the air separator that we have steps in. So with the air separator, we take our pan, basically just like this, take everything from here, drop it into the, into the air separator. And now that we've got that sample in our air separator, 
what we're going to do is the functions on the air separator, we turn our button, our power on, and now we turn our variable speed on. And we, what I do when I do this, I turn this variable speed up until the time that the, the chaff and, and straw and, and grain sample in here starts to kind of dance around a little bit. At that point, I tilt my separator over to the side and turn my fan up a little bit, and then I just run my hand around inside here. By doing that, it allows all the chaff and everything to blow out of, out of the air separator. And your grain ends up sitting just on this bottom lip inside here like that. And that will be what you use to actually um, to measure your grain loss. From here, once I've got the product separated and have just my grain sample in here, I'm going to grab my scale. I'm going to open this up. This has its own little tray built right into it, right? So I take this tray, zero my scale, pour my product from here, the grain, onto my tray, and it's going to give me a number. From that number is where we go to our app. And this is where the magic of this all starts to happen because now I can go in here and I can punch in through our calculator selector. You can pick your combine, you can pick your crop, you can do whatever you need to do to do the calculations that you need to be able to measure your grain loss. Um, some of the things that we talk about when we're talking about this grain loss is we've got examples where uh, people are, you know, it, it's, it's a, a reality where We've seen um, guys losing six and a half bushels in canola. Uh, we've seen eight and a half bushels in wheat. I've, I've seen as high as 11 and a half. Um, and that today, in these dollars and the way this works, it's real money for these people. So now that we've been able to, to take our sample, we've cleaned our sample, we've weighed it. So I'm using an example that we had from a, a producer in the Portage area this past year. Uh, they were combining canola. Um, so what this app allows us to do is we can actually go in here, um, we can um, use the crop, we can, and it automatically populates the density weight. So right in here we talk about what the header width is, we talk about what the spread pattern behind the combine is, right? So then as we scroll through here, it's gonna ask us what kind of pan we have, and this number right here is 10.5 grams that we took out of the sample from here, right? So I know that this was 10 and a half grams of product that I had, so I punch that number into here, and we hit this calculate button, right? As you come down here, it's telling me that in this crop, when he was losing 10 and a half bushels, or sorry, 10 and a half grams, he was losing 6.5 bushels of canola per acre. One more part of this app that goes down, and this is where a lot of guys find this pretty interesting, is we go down to a performance app. So this customer had a 60 bushel yield, um, commodity prices last fall, he had his canola contracted for about $20 um, a bushel, and his combine was capable of doing about 15 acres per hour. So what we like to do at this point is we hit this calculate button again, and that just comes up to the fact that it's showing him that on that yield with those kind of losses, he's looking at losing a total yield loss of about 10.8%, which is working out to about $130 an acre. The one part about this is not only does it tell you the bushels per acre, but it also tells you that that combine that's doing pr approximately 15 acres an hour is losing in the neighborhood of $1,950 an hour behind that machine. So if you think on a 10 hour day, that's a $20,000 loss that you're incurring by running that machine with that kind of a loss behind it. So that's just one example that we've saw in this past year uh, from one of our producers. So as you can see, the system when you're actually out in the field and, and actually doing the testing with this product, it's a very fashion, fast and efficient way to do it. Uh, the whole sample from the time you drop to the time you get it weighed looks like a little tiny bit of a process, but it only takes about five minutes. Separating the crop in here, 30, 40 seconds. That's usually all it is. Um, so once you get familiar with it, once you get used to the pan and separating and doing the actual calculation, this is a three, four minute uh, project that you're looking at. Uh, one of the things that people have to remember is if you're not managing or if you're not measuring your losses, you can't manage it. And that's where a, a key part of this is we, we bring this forward to be able to educate our producers on if you're not measuring that loss, you can't manage it. You don't know actually what's being coming out the back of those combines. As you can see by having this carrier and the pans, we can swap this carrier from one combine to another in a matter of seconds um, because everything's magnetic. Um, you can see the ease of, ease of use with it. Um, the 
between the remote and the, and the uh, app to drop it, and it, that's what does your calculations. Um, also, some of the features with that um, advantages is you, you, it allows you to be able to learn what that combine is. Um, once you be able to see what those losses are, and you can actually put a dollar value to what those losses mean, now you're going to be better equipped to be able to go back and make the adjustments to that machine to be able to um, run it more efficiently, more effectively, and um, we get a lot of reports back when we do these, we, when, from people that have purchased this product from the past, and every person that comes back to us, uh, the first words out of their mouths are, that thing saved us X amount of dollars on our farm last year, whether it's 20,000, 40,000, 50,000, whatever that dollar amount. We've never had someone come back and say that it doesn't, because it always does. But it just, it, some people, have, you have to put a bit of work into this to learn that machine and be able to make those adjustments properly on, with your combine. So with our system, we, one of the, in the past, uh, what we quite often tell producers that we have these conversations with is, at one point we found that it took about 120 acres in a lot of instances for us to be able to pay for, for our producers to be able to pay for this system. With commodity prices where they are right now, we find that is probably closer to into that 70 or 80 acres um, to be able to pay for the system. The other part of that is when we have examples of farms where, you know, if this gentleman here is losing $2,000 an hour behind that combine, this system is paid for within two hours. So that's a big thing that people have to look at. You look at, at, the, at the amount of losses that are out there versus the time spent, it's a very good investment. Your, your ROI on this product is something that's going to return that investment on you very quickly. And by looking and showing what we just went through, to take that couple of minutes out of your day to be able to actually find what your losses are and to be able to adjust those machines so that they're more efficient and calibrated properly, you can see that this product is something that's going to pay for itself very quickly.